My call came from having a friend of mine that has cancer, and while she was in the hospital for a five-day stay for her chemo, we were taking a walk and came across a patient in a room that had dropped his remote control down where he couldn't get it. And I went in, slipped in the room, and picked up the remote and, you know, had a little conversation with them. And when I walked out, she said, you know, I could see you being a minister and, and going and, and talking to um, people in the hospital. And that moment, it like clicked. So I went back to my pastor at my church and, and shared that story with him. And he says, yep. Yeah. I could see this and this is what you need to do and so he got me on track so you know when you start that process and you're doing all of the uh, beginning paperwork and you know looking at yourself as to why you might be called I went back and had pulled out papers and found that way back in high school when you took your aptitude test to see what kind of career or profession you would want to be in Number one and number two, both years, was being a minister, or working uh, with the children in the ministry. And I thought, all this time, God has been calling me to do this. I think listening to God, praying, taking time to reflect on yourself and, and uh, being in the Word and listening for God's Word is uh, what allows you to, to discern really uh, listening to what others around you say. What do they see in you that's those positive um, things? There's so many wonderful people that are there to support you and love on you. It's a big undertaking, but it also has high rewards and it pays off. <laughs> I'm Janie Kesslin and I am called.